Hello everyone. Today we'll be doing an outside tour, I guess. Not even sure if these are an actual thing, but I figured I would do it. Um, I don't usually have my camera facing this way. Um, when I'm recording outside and it's no particular reason, it's just a different angle for me, so bear with me. Um, so let's start with my plants. I got a nice rose bush right here. It's actually fairly big. Um, my dad's not had much luck with growing roses, but I have, so I'm pretty thankful about that. Here's two bleeding hearts. The big one, the one with the hearts on it. I'm really surprised that it got this big. I've never seen a bleeding heart get this big. Then you look over here. You got you got a much smaller one uh, but that's okay it's working on getting pretty big then we got some columbine these are actually wild columbine we never planted these we got a couple different ones another rose bush sorry for all the traffic too by the way guys I'm not it's not usually like this at least not that I remember and it just rained so you can definitely hear the tires on the roads but here's another this is my rose garden in a sense uh, this small one right here isn't doing all too well I'm a little worried about that one to be honest but then you got this nice big one right here this is a climbing rose and I'm not sure how well you can see all the buds on it, but you can see all of the little flower buds and there's it's just loaded with them. Like, look at that. Then we come down here and I got another one that I'm really worried about because it's got very, very little green on it. And then I had a couple of them in here. You can kind of see where they used to be. Like, there's one, and then the other one was right there. They died back. But, that one's doing pretty good. I mean, the rest of these are doing pretty decent. Except for the very one, or the one on the very end here. So, this is the one, and it looks like a rabbit got to it. That's exactly what happened, is here's... I hate rabbits. They're all cute and nice until they start eating your plants. Once they start eating your plants, then you, you don't like them anymore. Now we're heading over here to the butterfly bush, which I need to trim back. Here's the Japanese maple. Every year it gets hit by frost and it wilts really bad. This year, nice it's really nice and then I don't remember what this vine is over here but you can even see the flower that bloomed up there then we got with Syria growing up there too the story behind that is we thought the wisteria died because it hadn't grown anything for the last two or three years and all of a sudden it's starting to grow so I don't know if we need to get it out or if we should just leave it, but either way, here's the butterfly bush. It's not doing too bad. Really hard to grow these around this area. Frost always kills them off. Then we got some iris. And by the way, guys, for tomorrow's video, 50 views on this. I don't expect this one to get very many views on it so I'm expecting or not expecting but I'm shooting for 50 views and we'll upload a video tomorrow oh I skipped some stuff here's a hydrangea here's I forget what that's called but got it from my mom for Mother's Day same with that vine that was over there that had that white flower on it then I got some golden raspberries in here I need to come in here and clean this up apple tree it was just loaded with apples like you can even see where all the apples are gonna be on here it's where those little like brown looking spots are 
all those little brown looking spots are dead flowers which every flower is an apple so just completely loaded with apples guys another golden raspberry you got two plants here these plants never did very well at all I've had this plant for probably five six years maybe longer than that and that's all the more it's ever done um, I'm showing you the plants that I really like not every single plant I have by the way too this is another apple tree this is a golden delicious I believe again every little brown speck is a dead flower which every flower is an apple which there isn't very many on this one not as many I can see a few but um, regardless it that one never does really well and this year it's doing really well anyways here's my grapes the grapes are just absolutely loaded never had this many grapes on my grapevine ever so I'm hoping to keep them but I'm not sure if you guys can see the grapes or not and this isn't as full as it's gonna get it's gonna get really full here in the next couple of weeks then you harvest the grapes around I want to say October is when I start harvesting them can't remember for sure here's another grape plant and then I have red raspberries growing right here I bought these two from the store last year they're both doing pretty decent and I bought, or I transplanted two, I think. Maybe I bought three from the store. Yeah, I bought three from the store because there's the tag still. You can see it right there. I bought three from the store and transplanted one. And these two over here, just for whatever reason, aren't doing very well. Like, they're dead. They're not coming back. So I'm going to move that small grape plant and put it there. Here's my strawberries. I've never seen strawberries get this tall, guys. Like, look at that. Look at how tall they are. That's good foot, foot and a half tall strawberry plant. I need to come in here and get those out. Because those aren't anything. They're weeds. Same with the dandelions. I need to get those out. Um, but outside of all of that, strawberries are looking pretty nice. Then if we come over here, This looks like a mess, I know, but these are wild flowers. Or some of them are, not all of them, but like, see right here. This is a really, really nice looking wild flower, I think. You know, it's just really nice. And here's a different color. I'm really liking these wild flowers. Then I got some sedum in here. That's what those, it's what that is right here. It's about right in the middle of the screen. Then we come over here. I don't have bees anymore, unfortunately. The box fell over and the bees left. But here is another couple of rose plants, actually. Is this, I don't know if this is all one plant or if there's two there. It almost looks like there's two there. But here's a different plant. And then right here is another plant. So I got three plants back here, possibly four. Then we come over here. And I know again it needs to be trimmed up a bit, but we got some black raspberries. So we've got golden raspberries, red raspberries, and black raspberries. And I believe we have some purple raspberries as well, which purple raspberries are just cross pollinated between a red raspberry and a black raspberry because we used to have red raspberries back here I'm not sure if we still do I'm not seeing any which I know you guys are probably like how can you tell the difference oh is that one that is one so little 
tip here, guys. I don't know how well you can see the thorns on this one. This plant right here. Oh, not sure what's happening. But that plant right there, the thorns on it look much different than the thorns on this plant. The red raspberries have more thorns than the black raspberries. Anyways, that's not even all of the black raspberries. Look at all of these in here. This <laughs> tree is just loaded with black raspberries. And I mean absolutely loaded. So I am really thankful for that. And last but not least, And by the way, guys, I make this walk almost every morning. You know, almost every morning I go to check out my plants. Sometimes I'll grab some peanuts and eat them. That's a new thing. I just started that this year. Really nice and relaxing. Um, but yeah. Oh, let's check out the cherry tree while we're back here. It's in my parents' dog's fence don't see many cherries on it it did bloom though it's oh there's some cherries you can kind of see them this thing was just absolutely loaded too like this is just gonna be a really good year for any fruit bearing plant probably any plant in general but for the most part Fruit bearing plants are my favorite plants. I love being able to go and collect them. And it's starting to rain, so I'm going to wrap this up. But these are called polar berries. They are a white blackberry. So, yeah. Remember, guys. 50 views and we will upload a video tomorrow um, tomorrow's video will probably be either a route or a gold guide but for now that's all so thanks for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day